we've made great advances on GP access because we think that's a public priority. We've reached an agreement with the BMA. By the end of this year, we're looking to have 50% of surgeries in this country open for longer, either during the week or on Saturday morning or both. We're already at 28% just after a couple of months, so we're well on track. That will be very important to the public, as will the construction of over 250 new GP-led health centres or GP practices uh, in underdoctored areas and uh, in every other part of the country, which will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week, 365 days a year, and which will, in the main, incorporate other services like diagnostics and blood tests, etc. So this is a huge leap forward and an advance in capacity in primary care that we'll need to introduce all our plans on prevention and vaccines uh, and vascular checks and all the other exciting ideas we've got to uh, improve primary care. 60 years ago in 1948 a Labour government introduced its greatest achievement and one of the greatest achievements uh, of any political party in this country which is the establishment of the NHS. In the ensuing 60 years health has improved, life expectancy has improved, infant mortality has reduced, people are living on average 10 years longer. But what that initiative did was take away the worry, the concern of people when they were at their most vulnerable, i.e. when they were sick. Bevan said it introduced serenity into people's lives. And it's a good opportunity not to just look at the huge advances we've made, not just to remember, uh, and there are many people who can testify to what life was like before the NHS, um, but also to praise the marvellous staff whose efforts have made the NHS the most cherished institution in this country.